Okay, so I just got in from work. It's now 10.30 at night, so I'm going to make this quick. I'm Greek Geek, and this time I'm going to be doing a review of Game of Thrones. Now, normally, it's upside down, which is totally me. So normally I wouldn't review a book until the very end of it. However, I am almost at the end of it, and I already think it is probably one of the best books and the best series I've ever read. I really think that if you've seen the TV show, then you need to read the books because they expand so much more on character and just so much more on the situations. You have way more sympathy in the books than you do in the TV show and it also makes it make a lot more sense when you know who the characters are and what their role in this is. I found when I first started watching the Game of Thrones series what happened was I got lost in a lot of the stuff such as who Theon was and why he was with the Starks and how did John fit in because it takes them a little while to introduce this whereas in the book they get right down to it and explain a lot of it. It also makes you feel more sympathy to characters like Tyrion because in the show he does not appear as crippled as he is described to be in the book. There's a lot more about his bad legs and how they're twisted and his mismatched eyes and how it, like they just go into such detail about him and his physique and just why he is the way he is and why he's treated the way he is by his family. There's just a lot more into that. And you also see a bit more of a human side of some of the characters. They don't just seem to be the honorable one, the horrible one, um, all that sort of stuff. They get so much more rich and I feel like the information you get in the book will make the TV show make so much more sense. It's an easy read once you're into it. It seems really daunting when you see how long it is. But as soon as you pick it up, you're just trapped in this world of deceit and betrayal. And you know what's going to happen, or at least I knew what was going to happen when I picked up the book. But it has so much more impact now that I know who these characters are and what they stand for. As well as that, um, I'm planning to read the next couple books. I've already set up who I'm going to borrow them from. It has taken me just over a week to get nearly done the book. So I'm pretty proud of myself in that. But if anyone's seen the TV show and they want to just get to know those characters better, I would suggest it as a great read. If you haven't seen the show and you're looking for a great book, just pick it up. Because once you start, you will be hooked on this series. And I would suggest if you're just going to read the books, you don't have to watch the show. In fact, I would suggest not watching it. Because I think it ruins a couple things. It's not completely accurate and it just feels very much like they're trying to exploit stereotypes and exploit specific parts of the book and concentrate on what they think is important versus what the reader might think is important. Though it is kind of nice to see everything as a whole instead of as sections from each character's point of view but at the same time you're just you're learning about these characters and you're getting to know the characters because you're seeing everything from their point of view and oftentimes it'll happen between two or three characters and you'll see one scene in one character's eyes and then somebody will remember that scene as a different character. There's a lot of that in there and I just think it's such an amazing thing to just sit down and re read through. So I'd suggest it to almost everyone unless you are not into the fantasy section. In that case this is a very fantasy novel in a foreign land that doesn't really exist. So I'd suggest just finding something else because if you're not into that it would not work for you. But other than that I think it's great for more mature audiences probably. I wouldn't suggest it to young kids or anyone who doesn't handle mature themes very well and who isn't okay with reading about incest and death and war. But all in all it's a pretty good book. I mean, I bought cups for it, so I don't know if anyone can see that, but that's my Stark cup. I also have Lannister. And Edoric has the Targaryens and the Baratheons, so we were quite happy with our purchase. Sorry about the late video. I hope Edoric will be getting to you soon. This is Greek Geek, signing off.